my name is Pastor Fred and I work here. I serve as a pastor in Tumaini Church. I have been here for since 2002, that's about 13 years. I came here uh, when I was a young man. I am uh, a bit older now and uh, it's been a, a good thing doing ministry in the slums of Kibera. Uh, and we want to be first to be able to thank God that you're able to send a team uh, with Herbert and uh, the other pastors and the other team to be able to just come and, and share with us uh, about Andreas, the church. We know because we've been part of uh, you've been part of what we're doing here at Tumaini uh, Church. Uh, you sent some funds for us and we were able to construct uh, some of some classrooms and one of them that I'm standing in was constructed by part of the funds that came from Andreas and we are so grateful. Uh, there was a team that came uh, to visit uh, three years ago. That was also a good thing. Uh, first thing I want to be able to say that I'm grateful to God uh, that you are willing to partner with us in prayer and willing to use your resources even to send teams and to be able to come and uh, uh, today we have had some time to visit the families of the children who are in uh, this school and with the church and it's been a, a great experience. Um, in, and in short what we do at, uh, at Tumaini Church is we have um, uh, three goals is we deal uh, with the hearts of the people and we have families and families we deal with the children and the first thing we are trying to provide hope for the daily lives of the children so we have a feeding program we have a school that is called hope academy uh, of course which you are able to build some uh, some three classrooms for and the school is growing uh, last year we were able to do the first uh, national examination uh, so that the children can move on to high school. But the first thing for us as a ministry is to be able to do, uh, to give the gospel. And as uh, we say that all of us know that uh, uh, mortality rate of all humanity is 100%. So we are trying to provide hope for the future that even when people live in the slums, uh, they will one day die and when they die, they have a destiny with God. And that is a question that we want to help them um, answer at this particular time. And so we are teaching them to be able to obey God and to disciple them to be able to know the truth of the word of God. The second thing, to be able to do that, we know that the children can only be able to do that when they are physically able to, to survive. And there's a lot of poverty uh, in the slums of Kibera. And so one of the key things that we are doing in our quest to be able to give them uh, the, the Bible and to give them the gospel in a way that they understand, we give the children one standard uh, meal per day. And that meal is enough to take care of them, for them who do not have any other meal during that day, so they can be able to survive on one single me meal a day and come back the following day. We have about 400 children now, and out of those 400 children, a bit, about a third of them don't come to school because they want to learn. They come to school because of food. And we know that uh, feeding the hungry children is a good thing, even if they don't, uh, they don't end up hearing anything in class. But then the second thing, our motto as a school is educating for life and eternity. And so when we educate for life, is helping them find a way of living this life in a way uh, that they can be able to survive not living out in handouts and so we give them food for the stomach but also give them education and that education helps in uh, uh, giving them an enough opportunity to be able to compete with the rest of the world and the rest of the country education that the government does not provide and during that opportunity also we can be able to teach them we can be able to teach them the word of god so we are dealing with the matters of the stomach physical needs matters of the mind we're giving them education that will help them eradicate uh, poverty when they get jobs later and also teaching them to obey god and so that when uh, all this has ended they will have a place in heaven so what i want to be able to say is to thank you so much because you've been we have known how much you are involved in education 
and in supporting of the um, uh, Jubilee Scholarship Program with the Nairobi Chapel. Um, and we are grateful because uh, uh, some of our children have been able to benefit from that. But because we have a school and we have several children, not all these children are able to end up uh, in the scholarship program. So we stepped in by faith at the beginning of the year to start our own small day school for secondary school so that all the children who did not benefit from the funds for uh, Nairobi Chapel in the scholarship, the Jubilee scholarship, are able to find a place that they can be able to, they may not get everything, but they can be able to find a way that they can start uh, learning and start doing their high school education. So my prayer is that if uh, looking forward, we will trust that uh, uh, if God will be able to help you, that you can be able to, to support us. And the support that we may need uh, for now would be in terms of uh, many ways because we have teachers that have to come in to teach uh, the children and they do not have a salary because the government does not do anything and the community is not able to pay for the school fees for the children. So a lot of the teachers are just working on voluntary basis, but they have families, so we need to appreciate them. We need support to be able to buy some textbooks. Uh, but the biggest thing that has always been eating uh, our, our minds and our hearts, where everything, the resources that comes our way, is to be able to feed the 400 plus children that we have in the school now. And so we know that uh, as one of the, uh, the Mahatma Gandhi said, I think I was reading one of his quotes, and he said God himself would hesitate to appear to a hungry child except in the form of food. And so we know even if these children do not perform very well in class, if they do not listen to the gospel, feeding them would be a very good thing. So we are trusting in God that in this, following this partnership, if God is uh, on your side, we have our own uh, administration, we have our bank accounts, and we have everything away that we want to be involved. We have a board, and we want to be able to pass you. It's just depending on how you uh, you be aided by God. We want to continue pursuing and continue praying for you. But if God gives you an opportunity, please continue sending us teams like this ones, and we will uh, we will pray for you that this partnership will last. So thank you so much, and may God bless you so much. Asante sana, Mungu awabariki.